All right, episode one. Let's do it. Oh god, get so puffed up every time I hear that song. Farster lands the King's Road. This leads to uh, King's Landing. Then, so yeah, I'm a big fan of the show. I've seen you know everything, all caught, caught up, all the seasons and everything, and I've read the first two books. I I eventually want to read them all. Move and look around. You know, same controls and everything as the Game of Thrones games and whatnot. Can I interact with the pig? I guess not. Oh, it's blood there. Blood. Fresh. Hmm. Anything else? Oh, dead pig. Probably where the blood came from. Uh oh. Somebody needs assistance over there, probably. What's this carriage here? It's blocking my way, that's what it is. Oh, cart. Looks like it's uh, toppled over. Father's car. Who's my dad? Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for oh. this. Bolton? These guys are traitors then. Common, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> oh, they're killing the pigs. Uh oh. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed uh, get to my father. Place. I should drew my sword. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Now I gotta draw my sword. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself, probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. Right, let's take these guys out. We're gonna feed you to the. I don't think so. Pigs. All right, you can see my combat now. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. Uh. It's my dad. No. Hey, what's up, Kirby? I'll have that sword, boy. I don't think so, buddy. Fuck yeah, you. I guess it is too heavy. It looks like it. No! Finish this fucking. I don't think so. Pathetic. Damn, I lost the sword already. Hmm. You really are Let's go with the axe. Armor, aren't you? Yeah! One down, two to go. These guys are slow as hell. No, this is so I should just use the axe to finish them off. Damn, I like My leg. Hell no! Please, I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. 
I'll show mercy. I kind of want to see what happens. Man, no, uh, maybe I should should have been a cold blooded guy. I should have killed him, damn it! I regret it. <laughs> Lord Whitefield will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Uh, that guy got away though. That guy would have killed for sure. Oh wow, it's a long concert. How'd it go? Father, Garrett, you survived. I guess I'll play a nice guy character. I don't know. Or should I play a ruthless guy? Well, we did our first nice guy thing, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I feel like this guy's a nice guy, though. I tried to stop them. Father! No! Everybody's dying. I'll kill the men who did this. Damn, I should have killed him. I regret it. <laughs> I should have been ruthless. Alright, from now on, I'm going to be ruthless. That's it. I'm going to take no prisoners. I'm going to kill everybody. That was my only act of mercy. I usually like to play a, a, like a good person in these games. Like, especially The Walking Dead, like Clementine. I never like play like evil Clementine or anything like that, but... I feel like this is a game that you could it's be a, evil in. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Okay, that's my uncle's place. Alright, I gotta remember what to say to him. Carrot! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! I wonder what saving that guy's gonna do. I wonder if he's actually gonna... Like, maybe he'll come back and he'll be friendly to me. I don't know. We'll see. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save the leg. I don't want to hobble around. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. Uh, it was the justice. White Hills won't see it that way. It was justice. They well, I spared one of them. Served. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Ugh. Oh boy. That's gonna be gross. <laughs> oh, they're gonna put those things in it. Like maggots. I've heard of that, actually, in real life. These are dark. They put them to they like clean out like the infection. The Lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in yeah, Lord it's, uh, telltale. hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh... This might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. <clears throat> not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. So, unfortunately, so wait, is this my he uncle? He doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Uh, it's from my uncle. Oh, uh, I guess it's not. Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather okay. important then. I kept a Lady secret. Forrester will be here any moment now. I, I wasn't sure if this was my uncle. 
for you a second. Can put any weight on that leg. But I guess the Lord is my uncle. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. The Lord's chair. I was going to look at the window. The Ironwood Grove. Hmm. Can I go behind this? No. What's that? An Ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. Stronger than steel? I don't know. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. Uh, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Tapestry. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Who else? Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Asher. Because these are going to be all people that we meet exactly. eventually. Exactly, so, unfortunately. Maybe, I don't know. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. I guess this is the whole house. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. The menu codex page. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's where you could just like read about like every character a little bit more. Hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. No, I thought it was an arrow to the leg. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? <laughs> I guess. What else is here? Bandages? And healing herbs. Talk to him when I'm finished exploring. I'm not finished yet. This might help. What else we got? Fireplace. Uh, no, you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. Can I go up there? Well, let's see. Let's. Let's back this way. Let's see if I can go up then. No, I can't. All right. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Should I show him the sword? Yeah, I guess. I'll ad it's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of foresters. Hmm. Okay. Guess we're done. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Uh... Who's the lord of the house? Who is the new I lord guess. of House yeah. Forester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. 
There's still so much he has to learn. Yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Oh wait, I could talk to him about all this stuff. Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Well, I think there's more stuff to, Lady to talk Forrester. to about. Oh, well. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Valiantly, Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Uh, he was a hero. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm uh, sure Lady Forrester He fought valiantly, like I guess. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to Give her the family. sword. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Yeah, I'm only going to tell Thank my you. uncle. Like he's yeah. told, like he told of me. Of course, my lady. They demand a response. Is that it's him? too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Damn it, I lost my good sword. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. <clears throat> I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. He is a bastard. In Garrett, more ways than one. You understand what this means. You killed a Bolton and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forest Yeah, they killed land. my family. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was uh, his family to they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So. They do deserve to die, though. Okay, so this is my uncle. Good. Now I know, at least. Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. It wasn't murder. It was That's justice. Right. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Uh. Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. Let them come. I don't care. They'd kill you <laughs> and not think twice about it. So I, I kind of want to be ruthless. You, Kier, so. There's only one place beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? 
The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only uh, solution. My place is here. Especially now. When I don't the want to go there. So vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Who would defend the house? You said we need men who That's can right. fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. Uh, I won't put others yeah, at risk. Not. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. I still want to be a good person, but I want to be ruthless too at the same time. Like Batman or something. I don't know. <laughs> that settles it. That settles it. Then. Oh. Double speech. All right, good. He's gone. Now I can tell my uncle the secret. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Wait! Don't go. I can tell you something, Dim. And 